Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Now, first of all, just let me say that I am sorry that uh, it might be a little dark in here, but all the lights are actually already off. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, shoot the video like this. Now, I also do want to say that uh, I actually cannot show uh, my Pictus geckos in this, video in this video because I actually no longer have them with me. So Crispy and Bacon actually have found a new home, but I still wanted to make this video because uh, it is actually very, okay, because it is very important to show the, the experience that I had with these geckos. And you know, obviously, uh, if you are interested in learning more about these geckos, then this is a video that's gonna, that is gonna help you. Now, what I like more about the Pictus geckos is definitely their response to food. They are very, very good eaters. And that is something that is very important to me because uh, you know, I definitely want to know um, that uh, I have a, a lizard that is a very good eater. And, and Pictus geckos are very good eaters. And just like with any insectivore, I always follow basically the same rule as to have a, you know, a, um, a group of feeders as a staple, which are the very good eaters, which are the very good feeders for them, and also the treats. Something that you gave, something that you give, you know, every once in a while, maybe every other week, or maybe once a month. Now also something that you do have to consider is that these geckos are very small, so feeding them stuff like, you know, Pinky mice is out of the question. These guys should eat only insects or other very small stuff. Like for example, isopods. Isopods are actually a very good feeder. And you know, if your gecko is actually small enough to take one, which Pictus geckos are, it's something that you should be offering. More feeders that are very good for them are also crickets. Like for example, brown crickets. This tiny gecko. Whoa. You know, as Wally said, he has never known any uh, Pictus gecko that wasn't a good eater. And well, he was right. And also banded crickets and maybe even black crickets. But make sure that you give them, you know, the uh, the appropriate size. You know, this bas this is basically with all of the feeders. You know, if you, if you have a very small Pictus gecko, then make sure that the feeder is very small. Another group that is a very good and also falls in the category in the category of the staple are roaches. You know, obviously the most common one, Dubia roaches. And the good thing is that since these are small geckos, you know, they will not have a problem eating another small uh, roach species, like for example, the uh, the red runners or red goblins, they are actually both two very different species. And three different species of worms that I consider them as part of the staple are actually mealworms, silkworms, and also phoenix worms. Now what really matters is not that you are giving, you know, each feeder, you know, daily. Just change it a little bit, you know, for example, one week after two or three different feeders, and then the next one, another three. Some, normally what I used to do is that I would actually offer crickets, dubias, and mealworms weekly and then try to get something else like for example the, uh, the phoenix worms or silkworms and you know offer those even if it was only once a week. Now there aren't really a lot of stuff that uh, you can offer these guys as a treat which the only thing that I did consider giving them was hornworms. Now hornworms are very nutritional and you know they are basically mostly just water and nutrients and that's why they are not considered part of the staple so if you do decide to offer you know these worms to your pictus geckos make sure that it's only every other week and make sure that it's something really small you do not want to feed a lot of these worms to your gecko because most likely it will give them diarrhea well i cannot remember if i did offer something else maybe i did but I'm sure that there will be a few other options and it's always better to, you know, to always try to read as much as you can or watch as many videos as you can. And speaking of videos, you know, I would definitely recommend you to go to Supreme Gecko. Wally is definitely the expert with these geckos and I know that he has a ton of videos on, on this species. So I would definitely advise you to go to his channel and check out all the videos that he has on this species because that is actually what I did before getting mine. And well, like I said, Crispy and Bacon are no longer with me and you know that is basically just for personal reasons nothing wrong with the geckos you know they like I said they they are they were very fun to to have 
And because of that, this will be the last video that I will be making of Pictus Geckos, at least most likely. And well, all right, I guess that's gonna be all for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like and please subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you next week.